what's going on youtube it's me heroes gaming here coming at you guys with a top five video now these are the top five reasons why i think black ops 4 zombies suck so without further ado let's just get right into it number one elixirs i think elixirs are the most dumbest thing ever now let's take a step back and think about gobble gums and how they were implemented in black ops 3 it was a great idea you know you can change the way the game played with these gobble gums you had some good ones you had some bad ones but overall every single gobble gum was pretty much good for a type of game you're trying to trying to play if you're trying to be an easter egg you know what gobble gums would be good depending on what easter egg you're doing and what map you're playing if you're going for high runs same thing you, you would know what gobble guns you would pick versus you know what type of map you're playing if you know you're playing on the origins or you're playing on the giant you would pick what high round gobble guns you needed and it would be there and they also were easy to to obtain to collect so I never ran across a person who didn't have enough gobble gums to do whatever they needed to. Now with elixirs, it seems like you don't earn enough. They don't seem that important or game changing. And they just, they just, I don't know. It's just something that threw me off about elixirs. And then the, the layout of the whole zombies um, front screen is just, it's a little bit confusing to me. So. I don't really like elixirs. I think gobble gums are better, but you guys can talk about that in the comment section. Number two, perks. I hate the fact that also the perks don't seem like they're that important in Black Ops 4 because of the whole 150 health or 200 health that they have. Uh, Jug is gone. Um, in the beginning on Black Ops 4, we didn't have Speed Cola, but they said it was in the game, but it wasn't. And then a few months later, they came out with upgrades and said, hey guys, Speed Cola is back. You know, if you buy for your perks, you get Speed Cola, you know, and that was dumb. So Jug, Speed Cola, and then, you know, Widow's Wine, they replaced Widow's Wine with some ice perk that really isn't widow's wine is not even close to how good widow's wine was and black ops 3 widow's wine saved you from a lot it saved me that i know it, me it saved me a lot of deaths back in black ops 3 that was just came in clutch so many times and now it's just like with these perks it's like eh this is not really like eye catching or i gotta get perk you know oh i gotta get widow's I got to get something, you know, now is this is I don't like it, you know, number three leaderboards. Now, I don't know if they added leaderboards to zombies, but I know that they haven't added leaderboards or the combat record to multiplayer. But that's one of the main things that m makes people go and play zombies besides the high rounds of Easter eggs is the leaderboards if you're going into a random lobby you want to see someone else's leaderboard you want to see what's the highest round they got to you know what's their deadliest weapon what's the most common weapon they've used and you want to know if they're good or not so that was one of the main things why people play zombies to see how you know how high they can get to the rounds and seeing their leaderboards compared to the others maybe on their friends list in the lobby or across the world and for some apparent reason they don't have leaderboards they don't have combat records now like i said i don't know if they just added that in the game after some update but when the game released they didn't have that you know why i don't know why couldn't the game come with combat records leaderboards and all this important stuff that's been in every single zombies game ever i don't get it number four replay ability i can't tell you how boring i was playing black ops 4 zombies 
after a week of playing, I was already bored. There was nothing, I was not entertained. There was nothing that made me want to come back and, and keep playing the game. I played nine. The most, the most um, I've ever played was map nine. Um, I played Blood of the Dead second, and then I didn't even touch classified. Um, I have not played the new map. I don't even know what it's called. The DLC one, I don't know what it's called. I know it's something with werewolves, but I haven't even haven't played Black Ops four. And about since uh, the weekend, the first weekend came out. That's the last time I played. So I don't have any of the updates or nothing like that. I don't know what's changed, but you know, the game was broken. Too many blue screens, too many freezes, too many glitches. It just wasn't ready to be shipped, and I was bored with it. There was no replayability in Black Ops Three. You had replayability. There was so many things to do in Black Ops Three Zombies, and now it's just like they took a massive step back. To Black Ops 3 and that's really really sad number five Easter eggs I can't tell you how much of a person that I'm I'm really not an Easter egg person I'm more of a high round player but if the steps are somewhat doable solo and with a team and you you're not you don't have to do outrageous steps to do the easter egg i'll do it you know not really an easter egg person but i'll do it now black ops 4 easter egg steps i remember when mr waffle waffles put out a tutorial for the map 9 and i got me out a regular college rule notebook paper and i got myself a pencil and then I started to write down step by step what he was doing before he even got nearly done with the steps I was already halfway down my paper and I just stopped I stopped right there I did not continue because I said there's no way I'm going to spend I'm going to do all these steps and spend all this time to do an Easter egg. These outrageous steps, these ridiculous, these hard, the, and these steps were not easy. These steps were so hard, especially solo. Good luck to anybody who's ever attempted or done this Easter egg on solo. More power to you. But I was not gonna waste my time and energy and frustration doing these Easter egg steps because they were not single person friendly. And they were just, they were just dumb compared to the Easter egg steps and Black Ops 3 zombies you know everybody could hop on and do Derizon Drac everybody could hop on to do Zetsubo, Garak Krovi, Origins you know all those maps Revelations with, without no problem at all and then you go to Black Ops 4 and you have to write literally five pages of Easter egg steps just to do the Easter egg no no thank you i'm not gonna waste my time there's no reward for doing the easter eggs like there were last year with the with the uh gate worms in black ops 3 there's that i know of there's besides the trophies there's no rewards for doing the easter eggs so yeah i'm not even gonna attempt to do it so you know have fun if you're going to do the easter egg sales or you already tried to so yeah, those are my top five reasons why I think Black Ops 4 Zombies sucks. And if you guys have any other reasons or thoughts on why Black Ops 4 Zombies sucks, leave them down in the comment section. And until then, I will see you later.